Good morning, my warrior family. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for this brand new week and for all of its opportunities for learning, for all of its opportunities for life all of its opportunities to lift up your name to give you thanks to give you praise to give you glory for your awesome presence in our lives oh father we pray that this week will be one where we will lift up our hearts and minds to you and just say thank you thank you lord for your blessings on us bless us now as we reflect in your holy word. Amen. Some words from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes, my adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp about me, yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though wars shall rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall keep me safe in his shelter, he shall hide me in his in his secret place, and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies around about me. Therefore I will offer in his dwelling oblation with songs of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. This is a beautiful psalm. And it is one that, that we ought to give God thanks and praise for. For David was making it known in a very clear and direct way. That his strength comes from the Lord. But I don't know if you ever notice, because too often when we are in trouble, we, we, we pray for the person who offend us to be destroyed, to, 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 to get their due. But you'd notice in, that, in David's 40 Psalms that he, that he wrote, that he never wished harm upon his enemies. But he always prayed, allowing and saying to his God, he placed his trust in him. And that he knew that no harm could come to him because he was kept by his God. There is a beauty that sometimes we miss. And, and the psalmist starts by saying, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Have you ever noticed that when we fear, we fear often of the unknown. The unknown can like, can lack, can sneak, could hide in darkness. God is light. He brings light to the situation. You can see clearly. And if you can see clearly, then there is no fear. Because God is with you. It is my 
prayer today. That we would recognize that in the time of trouble, there's a God to call on. In the time of fear, there is a God to call on. In the midst of COVID, we have God, our light and our strength, our salvation. In the midst of a hurricane, even as 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 the the weatherman tell us to get ready because one is coming. Even in the midst of the fear of the unknown, there is a very present help in time of trouble. And I want to say to you that that is God, our light and our salvation. I draw my strength from this light. This light that dispels darkness. This light that brings clarity. This light that that brings life. Think about it. Without the sun, all of our backyard farming will be in ruin. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The psalmist, David, in all of his battles, was confident. Because his light, his strength. David was confident that in the time of trouble, he knew who to call on. We too must know who to call on. God is my light and my salvation. I will call on him in the times of trouble. He will be my shield and my buckler. He will be my very hiding place. He will keep me in all the times of trouble. Warriors, trust in the Lord and be of good courage. Warriors, hold on to God's unchanging hands. God bless you. Be blessed. In his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.